welcome hi thanks for visiting the tech ark it youtube channel please consider supporting me by subscribing to this channel i love sharing knowledge however it takes a lot of my time and effort please join the channel so that you will get early access to the content and special courses only available for the joined members which are not available to the public if you are enjoying my content please spread the learning by telling your friends family and co-workers about the tech ark it youtube channel if you are looking for the training you can contact me on my email address a ravikumar48 at gmail.com are you looking for help in linux storage and monitoring related projects join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are in description below let's see how we can create the proxmox uh, vm templating so create the templates from the virtual machines are convert the virtual machine as a template so in order to do the templating so we have to do some steps in order to convert as a template so let's see so what we can do the steps here so the process uh, here first of all we have to update the host name to a generic name so any generic name like example like local host at local domain something like you have to update the to the generic name or maybe you can say that template dash uh, local host something like that so that it gives you a generic name so that you can understand that okay it is generated from the template something like that and uh, clear the machine id so the machine id should not be same um, for the each virtual machine whenever you create it so it will automatically create the machine id if you generate the new virtual machine so deletion is the problematic uh, next boot uh, so that's why you, you can clear the machine id but you do not delete this uh, machine id file um, delete ssh keys uh, so the host keys can be auto generated or you can generate uh, whenever you want so that you can delete those host keys uh, it should not be uh, all same for the all the virtual machines or what are the containers all this stuff and replace the if config example the prefix and net marks values uh, maybe prefer to set as a dhcp values and uh, remove all of the static ip details and everything and just keep it the plain dhcp uh, examples in the configuration is place okay and read the network configuration and remove unnecessary values uh, example the mac address all this stuff and delete all the log files so does not require the log file does not required uh, if you keep all the log files and everything so the size of the template goes high so uh, you don't want the template to be a bigger size uh, it should be as small as uh, footprint should be small as like so you have to delete all the log files whatever not required data and clean up the everything and uh, applications if you have anything uh, you can also wipe them off install the what guest agent uh, common or you can also install cloud init or anything uh, for converting this uh, template and complete any additional desired configurations or installations example say that you wanted to ready for any application purpose you just make those application dependencies uh, ready on that and run this is config so that it will create the host specific information then power the power of the virtual machine so before that you can just clean all the uh, if, you, if it is a centos or rgl then clean the m repository uh, data and if it is a ubuntu then you can just clean this apt data the cage all the caging stuff you can just remove off convert the virtual machine to the template and deploy the virtual machine using the template so this is the process let's uh, go ahead and see how we can do the same on the vm so here i have the virtual machine already running and uh, just change the start at boot to the s 
uh, in this and click OK and remove this uh, uh, CD ISO file which is mounted on the um, CD DVD file here so let's click on and uh, edit and change this so that there is no media available for that okay and now what I'm going to do is start switch on the virtual machine start and uh, go to the console to see that what is the progress the virtual machine how it is switching on and you can see CentOS 7 which is switching on so we are going to convert the same template as a same VM to the template so now you can see uh, virtual machine is boot up and just log in and verify that what is the IP address of this virtual machine here and uh, connect using the putty so that it would be easy for us to type the commands or copy paste the commands here so I already have some uh, templating here so replace the IP address here 155 okay now you can log into the the virtual machine you can see tech ARK IT VM01 as we have created before so now what we have to do is that we have to change the host name first of all to the generic name anything so host name CTL set dash host name and set anything so here I'm setting it as localhost dot local domain iPhone 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 static and check the hostname using the hostname CTL here hostname CTL enter you can see that the static name is changed to local host dot local domain here so now we have to check the machine ID here you can see that there is a machine ID so I'm just going to uh, empty the file so do not delete the file oh, so it will create the problem so you just empty the file okay so I just uh, empty the file so the machine ID is 0 no empty it is empty completely so now what we have to do is that uh, go to the uh, slash etc slash ssh and uh, delete the ssh key files here so there is a ssh underscore host files you just delete that so we don't want actually uh, this we can generate later on okay let's star here and enter so this will delete the SSH keys. Now root and uh, delete the SSH directory if you have anything on the dot SSH directory but I do not have anything so I did not generate any key files or uh, any files here. So now uh, let's remove the anaconda case dot file cfg file here so we don't want anyway so that is created while installing the operating system and set the uh, unset the history file so the history will be cleared up so you cannot uh, reclaim the history file here and delete all the logs actually in the var log file var location and delete all this data so the var log data okay so var log and i'm going to delete the boot log file and you can just go to this cd slash var and do the uh, all these files deletion you can see that crone and there are so many files log files actually so you can see that d message and there are so all these most of the like log files you can delete it over here so i'm deleting like last log and b temp m log uh, crone log and secure tail log spooler all this i am deleting here you can just delete it okay those are the log files those will be regenerated when you again uh, reboot the virtual machine tail log rmf rf i can see wtmp and m log file so just ls and see what what left here so i have d message old file b temp firewall d all this i'm just delete it okay so this will actually what happens is that it will uh, just uh, uh, less uh, the data will be less on the vm templates so that uh, 
it becomes the the image size would be reduced here so you have to delete if you if it is a there is a unnecessary rpm so you can also clean up them so that it actually creates the less uh, template size you can see so it's almost deleted most of the files i have deleted from the log files so now let's see that so i have to install the and the Ovid release file here. So let's try m install and HTTP here. So I'm just typing the URL of that one. So resources dot Ovid dot org slash pub slash Ovid m repo slash Ovid dash release dot rpm. Let's see here. Okay, so it does not work. Maybe the URL is changed. Uh, let's maybe install the cloud INIT uh, instead of this uh, Ovid release. Okay, so let's say m install cloud dash INIT. Okay, so this is the cloud installation configuration. So it takes uh, loading the all the M configuration files, sorry, M repository and say yes here while downloading. And say yes here to confirm the certificate. You can see now, yes. Then, so it will install the all the packages required. And uh, now it comes to the prompt after the installation. So now you can do your remaining stuff. So enable this uh, Cloud INIT service so that it will start whenever the virtual machine is uh, started back. System CTL enable Cloud INIT. And I can clear the screen for you here. So now you can also clear the um, the configuration on the network. You can edit the network configuration file here and check is there any static IP address is set and uh, hardware address is enabled here. So there is no MAC address, uh, so there is nothing. So it's already set up to the DHCP here. So it's all looks good. Boot, boot, on boot, yes, device is yet zero. So that would be fine here. So no need to change anything. But if you have the static IP, all this stuff, you can just convert them to the DHCP and device name and on boot, yes, so that. Uh, Whenever you change again, you can assign the IP address later point of time. So M clean all. So it will clear the all the cage of M. Then after that run sys unconfig, sys dash unconfig. So it will clear the host information and shut down the virtual machine. So you can just see that the virtual machine has been shut down. And now you can just right click on the virtual machine here and say, convert to template so just come down here convert to template say yes so now it takes a little moment and say you can see the template is uh, vm is converted to template the icon of the vm has been changed for more updates click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications.